Uh, so, um, this is unboxing of my uh, BSA and um, it's a BSA 160, 160 year commemorative package. Um, so this is very special. It contains, this is an unboxing video of what I've got. It contains a BSA Ultra CLX um, air rifle carbine. Special edition, only 160 of these made. I've got um, my, this is a .22 air rifle. I've never had a .22 air rifle before that. It's large caliber. And this is a special edition. This is only one of 160 made. I asked the shop, what number am I? They said 108. Um, everywhere sold out on this gun, so I was lucky to get it. It's a beautiful gun. BSA is a famous company. I've got two boxes. One's got the rifle, one's got the accessories. So let's go ahead and unbox this, baby. Right. So, I'm going to be very careful. I almost don't want to undo this. I'm going to have to. I'm not going to take it out. It's got a wax seal on it. I know what this is already. This is the certificate. Um, if you look at the number, I think I've got 103 out of 160. It says BSA 160th year commemorative package contents. BSA Ultra Celex side lever air gun including an individual certificate of authenticity. BSA 644 silencer, BSA essential 3.329 times 50 mil dot rifle scope, including one piece rifle mount, synthetic lock of, lock, lockable rifle case, and a tin of BSA premium plates. Uh, so it's got everything. The scope is the only downside, it's a cheap scope, but I'm not going to be doing any serious shooting here, I just need to zero it. Look at this. Um, not, not fancy packaging, not in velvet or anything, but it's got a good old plastic cover. Let's get it out. So, I'll put the box to one side. Stunning. So grey laminated wood. Um, beautiful. I've never had anything like it. This is the filler probe, by the way. I'll explain that later. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So this checker in here. This is uh, what they call a Minelli stock. So the M, Minelli, this is Italian crafted stock. They call this stippling, it's how you can grip. It feels extremely grippy. It's, they know what they're doing. Look at this. a side lever. We're in it. Fill a hold. High pressure air goes in there. That's a muzzle brake. 
that comes off we put a silencer on that I'm going to show you that won't screw it the way off takes too much time front sling swivel rear sling swivel they don't normally fit that so it's red to fit a sling safe fire safe fire adjustable trigger that's a screw point for adjustment you can adjust it several ways Never touched this before, so all this is intuitive. It doesn't open. Basically, it's a magazine. What they call self indexing. Takes up to 12 pellets. 0.22 caliber. It goes down to one, you're empty. I already know that. Red is for 0.22. If I've got this in 177, which is the other caliber, smaller. It will be blue. Goes in there, there's a little magnet to help it stay in. Bolt forward or lever forward. Fire. Just makes a spring noise because it's got no gas in it. This is so light. This is lighter than uh, my other rifle. It's, it's very light. I'm surprised at the lightness of it. It's, a, it's the type of wood they use. I think it's laminated beach I'm not sure nice thick rubber pad here not that there's any recoil with this gun because it's a PCP it's a high pressure air gun specialist air gun there's a company BSA so you can see 1861 it's 2021 so it's 160 years since the formation of this company BSA they actually um, BSA factory produced a lot of Lee Enfield rifles in the Second World War, First World War, so they were very um, prominent uh, wartime manufacturer of uh, military weapons. Famous, famous uh, British gun company, not just air rifles, but you know full powder guns. So this is a heritage piece. Um, British made. The barrel is a cold forged barrel. A lot of barrels are made abroad. This is made in their factory in Birmingham. There you go. It is a quality piece. Now, let's go to the second box. Let's go. So all part of the kit is this lovely five case. Spin it around. It's good to have a hard case when you've got a valuable rifle. What have we got? I guess this is the silencer or moderator. I'm sure everyone knows what a silencer is. Yeah. Nice, nice feel. BSA moderator. Let's get that on. So it's 
makes it quiet. There is a bit of a crack when you fire these guns, especially the large caliber I've got for this and the power. Adds to its length, but it weighs hardly anything. Very light, it just baffles inside there. It's a quality moderator. You can see it substantially adds to the length. So that's that. Point two two caliber pellets. I've never had this brand before, but it's Webley, this is a good make. Show you what pellets look like. <laughs> People have ever seen pellets. These are big. These are big pellets, the other one's 177 is half the size, that's what I normally go for. It's got a flatter tra trajectory. These are 0.22 in the palm of my hand. So there's a bag of pellets. Uh, this is a scope. That's a BSA scope, BSA essential, it says it all. It's it's a BSA scope, so it's well matched for the rifle, but it's a budget scope. So it's good enough for what I'm gonna be doing in the time being, which is just uh, getting it zeroed, getting it calibrated, and some very basic target shooting. Nothing fancy. So it's adequate. Once I get into more, once I've done, you know, really established, once I've really got used to it, I may want a better scope. So it's basic scope, that's the cover. This bit's the mount. Basically, I can't fit it because it's tight. I've got to unscrew it, but it basically, if I just show you, it's going to sit like that. It's adequate for hunting in good lighting conditions. Uh, looks like that when you look down it. Some of these scopes illuminate. I don't think this one's illuminating. But it's a quite basic scope. Uh, got focus mount, pre zero zero. Um, But it's got a battery compartment, so it does illuminate. It's, a, it's, it's an okay scope for me. I'm not that much of an expert. These are called turrets. You adjust it, that's adjusts it. Um, that adjusts it for elevation, so up and down. This adjusts it, this side turret adjusts it for a windage. It's the same in all rifles, so left and right. Once you put the gun, the, the scope of the gun, I've got to adjust it. Focusing ring, sorry, magnification ring. Starts off at three, goes up to nine magnification. 35, 35 across, 35 millimeter objective sight. Um, one of my other rifles, 50 millimeters, so it lets in more light. More light means better in darker conditions. Um, yeah. Actually, this hasn't got no battery compartment, so it's not illuminated at all. 
so that must just be general instructions. So it's a basic site, but perfectly adequate. But guys, there you have it. BSA. BSA CLX Ultra 160 Anniversary Edition. Only 160 made. Fantastic certificate of authenticity with wax seal. I don't think I want to open that. Thanks for watching.